I welcome you to the program titled Sustainable Deliverance. I am Evangelist Epoempo. I will be sharing with you on the topic, the place of Holy Spirit on Sustainable Deliverance Part 2. I would like to read from Exodus chapter 1, verse 3. He says, And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship to design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting in carving of in carving wood and to work in all manner of workmanship. I have filled him with the Spirit of God. Having read these few verses here, you can agree with me that God has empowered us to operate in all manner of levels in this life. God has already put the potential in us. One may be wondering, uh, what, how can I be filled with this spirit to take part in all manner of workmanship? First of all, let me let you understand what man, the position of man. Are you aware that man is a spirit that has a soul that dwells in a body? If you have come to realize that man is a spirit, this thing you are looking at is not man, but you know, in a biology, it's taken to be man, right? But when we go deep down, to understand the spiritual position of the biology man, we will come to realize that man is a spirit that has a soul that dwells in a body. When you come to understand this, it will help you to know the operation of man. You see, I consider the Bible as a manual which God has provided for us to help run the affairs of man very, very well. Yes, I consider the Bible to be a human manual. Just like when you buy a product, maybe a television, you wonder why the manufacturers of that product will always place the manual to be the first thing that you are going to see the moment you open the cattle. You will never, you will never find manual on top of the appliance. I mean, you will never find manual at the bottom of the appliance whenever you open it. The manual is the first thing you are going to see immediately you open the cattle. And you will see the instruction in the manual Read carefully before you open the appliance. Why do you need to read carefully? Why do you have to read carefully? You have to read carefully because it is the manual that would direct you on how to operate the appliance without making mistakes. Because there are something you may do, you blow up the appliance. Or you may never for one day use that appliance. So, looking at that arrangement with the electronics that is packaged in a carton with a manual placed on top of it, today one may be wondering which step, which way do I go? How do I know what plan God, the plan God has for me? Well, we have seen testimonies, we have seen people who have gone through the Bible as human manual and they were successful and they died successfully. We have seen them on this life. 
which proves to us that if you follow the human manual Bible, some people, some other people, or some other groups may have their own, may have their own manual. No problem. But if, what I'm trying to say here is that where I consider good and better for me, I consider Bible to be the manual that is helping to direct my affairs and direct me wonderfully well. We have seen people healed through the Bible. We have seen people have different kind of breakthrough through the principles of the Bible. As a matter of fact, I have come to understand that the kingdom of God has to pass. The presence of Jesus and his principles. One is his experience, one is his expertise. And I have come to realize that most of the success book we have read and we have come across, they borrow principles from the Bible to make those their uh, 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 books look interesting. And when people read it, they will be successful. Where did they get the information? They got the information from the Bible. That is to say that if we pay attention to the Bible, we will definitely have the same successful result people have been having. Why does it look as if the Bible is not giving us the result we need today? The simple truth is that people took the Bible, make doctrines out of the Bible to suit their different wishes. And some people tend to follow them in their doctrine. And at the end of the day, they won't be having results. They are still practicing something that is not giving them their results. Because of what? Lack of knowledge. Lack of information. There are certain things you don't need fasting and prayer to achieve. Are you aware of that? Those people that design aircraft and worship and all that, do they first do it? No answer now. They don't first do it. These are men who have come to realize the knowledge God has put in them, that God has given them the ability to be creative in all our work. I would like to refer you also to to Romans 8.14 and there I will show you the reason why many Christians are not successful today. Reason is because their mentors, their pastors took the position of the Holy Spirit in their life. I will show you now so that if you are, have fallen victim of such thing, you better repent. When the blind in the temple in Jerusalem tore open, what was it signifying? What was that blind signifying? The blind is signifying that it is not time for you to communicate to God directly. You don't need to communicate to God through your pastor. You don't need to communicate to God through your bishop. You don't need them. The Bible says, Whom the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. But unfortunately, some people are not yet free. Before you go to anywhere, have to tell you, before you, 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 you travel to anywhere, you have to tell your pastor. Is it in the Bible? Before you do anything, you have to tell your Bible. Is that freedom? Whom the Son of Man set free is free indeed. Are you not aware that the Bible said the Holy Spirit will teach you of all things? Why are you expecting your pastor to teach you of all things? Why are you expecting your bishop to teach you of all things? I tell you that these people have taken the place of the Holy Spirit. And that is why we are not having results we should have today. And everybody is confused. Every time people get up pray, no results. Does it mean that God doesn't hear? God hears. 
But this is that we are serving a principle God. So once the principle is not right, if you like, you want me to pray, no result. That is why Jesus changed prayer equation. Are you aware Jesus changed prayer equation? I'm glad to announce to you that some people are still praying prayer of standard definition. Not knowing that prayer has changed from standard definition to high definition. Even today, he has moved to ultra high definition. Some people are still praying standard definition prayer. I'll give you an example. Some people still pray north, south, east and west. I buy you in the north, buy you in the south, I buy you east and west. Is that the only bearing we have? I did geography. These are just the four cardinal points to define the four major winds. But you know there is not east wind. You know there is southeast. And you don't know that demons, they work specifically. When you tell them to leave the north, they will leave the north. They will go and wait for the north at the northeast. When you ask them that, they say they didn't tell me to, they didn't tell me to move from, from, from north east. They say I should leave the north. That's why I left the north and I stay at the north east. Some people are praying that prayer and all. Do you know how I pray? I don't pray north and south, east and west. I pray all the bearings of the earth. You will hijack them there and give them no place. Because the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to our Father in heaven. And He has given it to us. Are you getting the point I'm making? We are talking about sustainable deliverance. How to sustain deliverance. How to sustain your breakthrough. How to sustain your healing. How to sustain your salvation. That's why I'm here. And to bring out the little, little problems that you have oversight. And because of that little oversight, it's disgusting you. Serious harm in your life as a believer. Because of those little, little things. The Bible says in the book of Romans 14 that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are called the sons of God. That is one more thing I want you to let you know. You need to upgrade from being a Christian to becoming a son. The Bible didn't say as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are Christians. No. It said they are sons of God. You need to be a son of God. And for you to be a son of God, you must leave your pastor's mentorship and cling to the Holy Spirit mentorship. It is the Holy Spirit that leads you. It is the Holy Spirit that will teach you something. Your pastor will guide you, give you direction, moderate you. But know that you have a responsibility to be led by the Holy Spirit. You have a responsibility to be taught by the Holy Spirit. 1 John 2.27 says, The Holy Spirit will teach you of all things and not some things. He didn't say that your pastor will teach you of all things. He didn't say that the pastor will teach you everything. He said the Holy Spirit, 1 John 2.27, will teach you of all things. Have you ever talked about the Holy Spirit teaching you of all things? We are looking for where the problem is coming from. The problem is coming from lack of knowledge. With knowledge, your lack of knowledge of knowing that you should be led by the Holy Spirit of God. Not by what your pastor that has limited knowledge is telling you. I just pray God that we we'll have to understand this and we have to live in line with what God expects us to live so that we will be able to achieve our purpose in this life. I would like to stop it here. I just want to believe that this message has impacted your life. I look forward to your testimony. I will continue from where I stop next time. Bye for now. Thank you.